all right what's going on youtube so pretty much today's video i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a easy ass 3d spinning logo it's really not that hard now there are a couple other videos out there that just easily teach you how to do it but for some reason people are just weird and don't like you know actually explain or how to you know teach somebody something so you know i'm gonna be doing that you feel me i'm gonna be i'm gonna be helping y'all out on some more but before we get into this you feel me y'all make sure y'all join my discord down below go follow all my socials and uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and get right to it so today i'm gonna be using this logo uh this is my man's logo i'm just gonna be doing it for him just for this video why not so if you don't got photoshop um you didn't hear this from me but a crackhead around the corner told me you can get it for free if you look up uh you know photoshop free i don't know i don't know who the crackhead was he just told me you can get it for free anyways once you open up photoshop you want to come over here to hit create new right once you hit create new put your width to 1920 put your height to 1080 and then leave everything else the same now just for sake of you know video in case i'm just gonna put my background in black you know and then just wait for it to load up your project but you know all right so once it loads up um first thing you want to do is you just want to get your logo so you can either come over here to file open and then once your file opens just looks for the logo now if your file is already transparent how you'll tell if it's transparent or not is i'll show y'all again just uh just to let y'all see how you'll know if your logo uh, what how y'all know if your logo is transparent if there's nothing in the background right here then it's transparent okay if there's nothing in the background it's transparent so you don't really got to worry about this but if your logo you know just in case somebody's logo is transparent i'm just gonna look up like m baseball logo right i'm just gonna look up this right just to show y'all in case you know your logo is you know not transparent so come over here just copy your image or whatever right and then paste it so i'm gonna delete this but you know paste it right you want to come over here to the eraser tool right click on it click magic eraser tool right magic eraser tool right here and then boom delete the background okay and boom that's gone but that's besides but that's what we're working with all right so once you do all this you know you want to head over here to 3d at the bottom right it's going to say 3d once you come over here you want to hit the second option under 3d okay and then you just want to hit create so once you did that it's going to load a little bit and once it loads um you know it's going to be putting into the whole photoshop 3d thing and i'm going to be teaching you on um you know how to easily do that if my thing loads and doesn't crash anyways all right so first when you load it you're probably gonna be like what do you do all right so first things first is you want to make sure you're on layer one okay layer one or where are your things called the thing you imported it's going to be called right here right it's going to be right here under infinity light one so you want to click on layer one and you want to click on this thing right here it's the fourth option this one right here okay click on it and then rotate the y so you see the back of it like this so you see this thing right here and once you do that go back to the first thing the little star thing right here and just scale it down this is pretty much what this is is this depends how you know long you want the logo or how short you want it so just a second if we're gonna do like right there so it's you know it's kind of you know fair enough and then next thing you want to do go back to the fourth one and just put the y back to zero so it's back in its original place and then you just want to move this you know to the middle a little bit bring it up you know so you can work with it all right so next things is you want to go under the layer one and you just make this glow now you can change this to black pretty much what this is is y'all saw we had that that long thing and we made it short that was the color of it so we just pretty much changing the color of it um what i advise you guys to do in case it doesn't save um when you click on different all these layers right here layer these all these are right here are the pretty much everything you work with right here so every time i click on a layer i just make sure i turn up glow and make sure you change the color to black whatever color you want you know just uh you know make sure everything's bright and everything is good feel me put this back up put this to glow put it over here put this to black put this to glow okay once you did that go back to layer one and this is what y'all have to pay attention and understand all right so you want to come up here to window right once you come over here to window you want to go all the way down to timeline right here right once you are at timeline you just want to hit create video timeline you want to hit the drop down right here under layer one and you want to go to 3d meshes 
Now, once you did that, you want to go over here to this little drag thing right here, and you just want to drag it to this, the two. Don't drag it like over it like that. Drag it behind it like this. Okay. So once you do that, you just want to add. This is called a keyframe. Pretty much what a keyframe is is like, you know how it, you know, this makes it rotate pretty much. I'm gonna show y'all. So you just want to go ahead and add a keyframe, right? Then you want to come over to this little blue drag button right here, and you just want to drag it to one right here on top of it and so then make sure you are on layer one when doing this so whatever your layer is called and then you want to come over here to the fourth option again you want to go to y right all right so this way you have to listen all right so pretty much you want to drag your mouse to the right until the logo stops spinning so i'm going to be i'm going to drag my mouse to the right until the logo stops spinning so boom it starts spinning right you can't go no more so what you want to do once it starts spinning you want to put this to zero that to zero. Okay. Then you want to go drag the blue scale thing again and drag it right here behind in front of the, you know, two this time. And then what you want to do is you want to drag your mouse to the left until it stops. So boom to the left. Boom. And now what you want to do is you want to put it to negative one, which trust me on this because I am I did, I lucky messed up on a couple things while I was doing this first time. And so boom, if you play it, boom that's literally that easy you have a spin logo and you know they look good you straight so that's pretty much it that's all you really have to do now before you save it i'm gonna teach you how to save it also you want to come up here to file and you want to go to export and you want to go to save for web this right here right and so then just want to wait till it loads or whatnot um you can put it to anything but i advise you to put it to gif i don't advise you to put it like anything else put it to gif if you want to you know to put you in your roblox game or your you know banner on discord or something and then click save once you click save um just save it to a folder i have a folder called spend the logos for all the logos i made and then save and then pretty much you're done and then boom you have a spin the logo that's pretty much it now see that's so easy you can make logos that's been for now and just you know it's pretty much easy but if y'all do want to see more tutorials on like how to make different thumbnails and all that y'all let me know you feel me i'm down to really do anything but um y'all make sure i join my discord down below follow all my socials my name is kx and i'm out peace